Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to generate a VBA code that help us to extract a unique value from a data set. Let's find out. Today, the business scenario is quite straightforward. So we have this employee spreadsheet and we need to create unique name list for a few columns. So for example, for the job titles and for department and countries, I want to extract the unique value in each of the columns because maybe later I need to do a drop down box. Maybe I need to set up my formula with those unique name list. So in Excel to do this, Basically, what you can do is something like this. You copy everything in here, and then let's say for the uh, job title, you go to, you select the column, you go to data, remove duplicate, continue with the current uh, selection, remove duplicate, that's it. And you create a unique list, and then you just repeatedly doing this for each of the columns, which is not too, too bad. But if you have multiple columns that you need to set up like this, it can be tedious. So now let's see how we can use ChatGPT to do this in a lot more efficient way. So here is the instruction I give ChatGPT. I say create VBA code to create a list of unique value in column C, my job title, in the sheet of 2023 employee records in a new sheet, column A, then create a list of unique value of column D in column B, and then create a list of unique value in column E in column C in the new sheets. So let's see how ChatGPT can run this time. Okay, now let's copy the code, come back to our spreadsheet, go to view code and paste it. And let's see if the code looks fine. So we want to process the column C, D, E. And for each of them, we want to extract the unique value and then set the target for the target sheet, which we name as unique value list. So runtime error invalid procedure call or argument. So it looks like this line of code actually doesn't wrong. It didn't specify which line of code is wrong. I would just regenerate my code. So I'm gonna try a different set of code and then see if it does work. For my purpose. Copy code, view code, paste in my new code. Let's see. So my new target name will be this worksheet name. That's fine. Okay, let's run again. So actually this time it runs perfectly. This is exactly the unique list that we example here. You can change this to be department and then you can change this to be country. After you run it, you will get exactly the kind of unique value list as you need. That's all that I want to share with you today. I hope that you'll find it helpful. If you want to learn more about VBA code or how to code with ChatGPT, I do have two playlists down below in the description for your reference. I will also paste the VBA code that I have in the video down below so that if you're interested, you can paste it and test it for you with your own data for your own reference. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.